attention, people with green wristbands. Please go back to where you came from. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After the talk, not right now. So, there's something that I have always struggled with, most of my adult life, and, and that is my uh, inability to deal with bullshit. It's just that there's so much of it. It's, it's everywhere. But I think I may have finally found a, a way to deal with it. A few years ago, when the US midterm election cycle was in full swing, I was consuming news at a very unhealthy level. Now, this was a time when Arizona, my home state, had just passed a law called SB 1070. Now, um, this was a law that allowed cops to pull you over and ask you for your papers just because you were brown. And the lawmakers claimed that it had nothing to do with race and that it would help make Arizona safer. But what they were really saying was, racial profiling? We don't do that here. Now let's go get that brown asshole. <laughs> and, and this was a time where this kind of bullshit was coming in from all sides, and I was just not sure what to do. Uh, and to stay sane, I, uh, I felt I had to do something. And, and so I began to make art, in response to all of the things that are upsetting me, all of the things that I thought were bullshit. I, I looked at all of this incoming bullshit, and I began to respond with bullshit of my own. <laughs> I was frustrated with the Republicans. And... <laughs> I was also frustrated with the Democrats. And <laughs> that's a real Democrat. And <laughs> I did a whole series of these posters. Um, and, and they were part of a larger exhibit called A Bunch of Croc. <laughs> now, A Bunch of Croc was all about me. It was uh, a way for me to feel better about trying to make a home in Arizona. Uh, I wanted to bring James here, but uh, his application was rejected. Uh, but a bunch of croc was also my Howard Beale moment. It was, uh, it was an opportunity for me to yell things as obnoxious as this. Attention people with pink wristbands. Global warming is a myth and so is poverty and racism. God bless Glenn Beck. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Um, and, um, and the PSAs and the wristbands that you're wearing were also part of the exhibit. And, and when the exhibit opened, and, and then when I began to post this stuff online, Uh, and when I began to post this stuff online, something strange began to happen. What was mostly meant as catharsis for me began to, uh, to actually resonate with random strangers. Um, other than the occasional you are a moron comment, which I enjoy, most of the feedback that I received made it very clear that there are a whole lot of other people out there also in need of this kind of catharsis. Um, and so now I want to take this idea a step further. A Bunch of Croc was about all of the things that I thought were bullshit. But now I want to make art about things that other people <laughs> think are bullshit. And, and, recently, and recently, I've started taking other stories of, of bullshit and transforming them into posters, animations, videos, audio, uh, audio stories, and more. And as I work on, uh, on these projects, what I have learned and what I continue to learn is that life can be difficult. It can be full of challenges. Uh, it can be messy. It can be full of bullshit. But sometimes, a little bit of creativity and a little bit of humor can help you get through. That's what my art does for me, 
and that's what I hope it can do for others as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you.